She's a local judge. By night, she was working on her own investigation to save her daughter. The I-Team's Vanessa Murphy has an exclusive interview with Judge Melanie Tobiasen. Well, behind the scenes, there was a decision to make for the judge. Does she share her story, which may seem more like a movie, or does she keep it out of the public eye? Well, she chose to break her silence. I didn't care. I would lose my job over this. I would lose my freedom over this. I would lose my life over this. As a mother, Judge Melanie Andres Tobiasen put her job on the line to save her daughter from sex trafficking. The only reason I didn't go public earlier is because I was trying to protect my daughter because no one else was going to. She says in 2015, her teenage daughter started working at a now closed store in Chinatown. She started looking into it, noticed several red flags and staked out the place. She tells the I-Team she believes it was a front for prostitution. A clothing store by day, more like a club by night. I spent hours. I mean, I would go, I would watch, I would get license plate numbers, I would get makes and models of cars, I would follow people, I would get information about where they would go, where they lived, where they, you know, I never used inappropriate means to get information. I did it all myself. While she watched the store, she says she tried to learn more about Shane Valentine, a violent felon who was in contact with her daughter. She eventually recused herself from a case against him in her courtroom because of that personal connection to her child. You know, even having the discussion with her that if one of these guys were to get her, I would get her back, but it would, it might require something other than going to the police because they, I already knew at that point they weren't helping me. And when you say get her, what does that mean? I mean, make her work as a prostitute for them force her into prostitution. The judge says she informally reached out to the detective she knew who investigate prostitution in the vice unit several times, even when they came to her to approve search warrants for other cases. I mean, it's not wrong to give police officers information. There's nothing inappropriate or wrong about that. I gave it, quite frankly, anytime I would do a vice search warrant, I would tell the vice detective about what was going on in hopes that maybe at some point somebody would pay attention and care. In hindsight, do I wish I had handled it differently? Yeah, but the reality is I was trying to provide information without my daughter knowing because if she knew, she wasn't going to give me any more information. She certainly was, I'm, you know, I was treading a very fine line of trying to keep my daughter close to me and not letting somebody get her. Tobiasen describes a lack of action by Metro and says her frustration eventually reached Sheriff Joe Lombardo. She claims they met and she provided these memos to the I-Team, one from a vice lieutenant and the other from a captain addressed to the sheriff listing contacts with the judge. But still, Tobiasen says she didn't get the help she wanted and then she realized possibly why. As the I-Team has been reporting, former star vice cop Chris Boffman and several detectives who worked with him were being investigated by the FBI. The allegations, cops working with pimps to take out competition, sleeping with prostitutes and covering it up. Tobiasen believes if vice detectives investigated her tips, they'd be investigating criminals they were partnering with. She also points to recent plea deals for pimps handed out by the Clark County District Attorney's Office. It's unfortunate because it's a very small percentage of the people in the DA's office and at Metro, but it makes the whole entire system look corrupt. The judge is concerned about her safety. She claims a detective outed her and her daughter during an interview with a possible witness after she provided confidential information. She points to a double homicide in October of 2016. Shane Valentine, who's now serving time in prison for another violent crime, was named a person of interest. And she believes Valentine and his associates recruit girls like her daughter, children of judges and cops, to sell sex. She tells the I-Team she's continued connecting with people, but instead of police, she says she turned to prostitutes and pimps for information. The problem is I don't think we're in danger from the pimps anymore. I'm more afraid of the vice detectives and those who are trying to cover this up. That's what I'm afraid of now. 
We reached out to both Metro Police Department and the Clark County District Attorney's Office, and we've received no comment. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Vanessa.